Spring has finally come. Snow is gone. And I am happy. Damn, this baler looks good. It's ready to go. It's just craving some hay and straw. Deck is all held up good over the winter. Paint seems to be okay. No rust bleeding through. I had it turning over the other day as well. Everything's still working good. But baler alone does not make hay. So today, I just rolled in the yard with my new gem. Look at that beauty. This is a New Holland number 56 side delivery rake, or bar rake they call it. This turns all the hay that you cut into those nice long rows called wind rows. The best I can tell by the serial number, I think this thing is about 1962. I feel happy because I got one brand spanking new tire on here. Still got the little no rubber knobbies on it. And the other one holds air. The only issue is it doesn't work. But that's how we like things here on the on Duchesne's farm. Buy junk, fix junk, make junk work turn it into money. Number one problem with this thing is the two adjustment screws that lift this cage. They don't move and they're locked together. I think this thing was in an accident or someone just ran into it. If we get back here on the frame it is severely twisted and it has buckled here it's buckled down here and it's buckled on the bottom so it's not a quick fix but I think it's manageable the other thing is the roll bar it turns for the most part but it does hit other than the back one is frame being bent something is bent through something's out of alignment through here because it does it does hit the guides that loop down here on the bottom and the second thing, or third thing, is this gearbox. It is, it don't move. I've hit on this with a hammer. It sees solid. The only thing that does move is hub bearings are good. This PTO shaft is good. And it is spinning on the end of the gearbox here, but not engaging inside. And everything along here, driveline, is good. The way this works, these wheels, as you're moving, turning on the ground, it turns this PTO shaft this PTO shaft which in turn rolls the rake so the faster you go forward the faster the rake turns inside here these hubs there's little dogs that engage so that turns this shaft runs the gearbox the frame I think is going to be a quick fix I am going to fix that first I towed this thing about 30 kilometers a day and it sways and bends and twists all over the place just because this hitch is actually laid right over. So we'll take care of that first. Then the next thing will be is to get this gearbox working. The unfortunate thing is, looking online, it looks like this has been obsolete for about 30 years. And there are no available parts that I can find for inside there. So hopefully something I can weld, build, find an old gearbox online somewhere or something. But anyway... You can't beat free. I'll take anything for free. You got free farming junk? I'll take it. But I think it's a happy, I mean, it's a good find for me. I'm happy with it. I gotta get rid of this junk jack just like my baler and put a sidewinder on it. It's so much easier. So after this piece of equipment, we're gonna move on to another. And my third piece of equipment for making hay is this dinosaur. This is a Case T10 7 foot sickle bar mower. This thing is vintage. This was built in 1954. 
but for the most part, everything turns. It definitely needs some TLC. The bearings are shot, they're loose. The main drive pulley here, I tried to start it up the other day, and it's got over a half inch of play in it. So either that shaft is gone completely, or hopefully there's a bushing inside there that can be fixed up. But you know you got quality when some of your parts are made out of wood. <laughs> now, I'm assuming that's hardwood. I read online they were hickory at one time, ash works good. So uh, it's got quite a warp in it and it hits on the bottom of the box here. But uh, I think I think I just make make a couple new ones, buy a chunk of ash at the local hardware store and uh, have a couple extra too because I'm sure that was designed out of wood so it would break. So this is just like a giant set of hair clippers. These are the blades here, and these are the guards. As the hay comes in, these guards are cutting, chopping the hay off. Of course, this whole blade lays down on the ground. This is definitely new here. This is the hydraulic cylinder. The original had this big cam lever you'd have to try to lift up, get off the tractor every time to lift this thing up so you can make a corner or move it on the road or whatever. So this is a nice touch, modern age touch to lift this whole whole thing up and down. So we got lots of work this spring. Ground's drying up nice. The foreman's loving things. Hey buddy. Oh look at that beard, you're getting old. And then in about three and a half weeks the pigs are gonna be here. So between pigs, rebuilding two pieces of machinery, getting ready for spring hay. I think it's gonna be a good year, gonna be a busy year.